Now onto the course for tonight's third race, the $100,000 final of the two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot with exact day and trifecta wagering. Entering this race for the four-race win streak and more than $45,000 in seasonal earnings, number one is Gal's Lucky Nooner, owned by Jack Tremonti, trained by Kelly O'Donnell, and driven by Walter Case Jr., Gal's Lucky Nooner. He comes to this evening's championship final off a career best 158 and three clocking at Northfield Park, never missing the board in five career tries. Number two is Air Touch, owned by James Glass and Robert Kaufman, trained by Danny Collins with Dave Hawk. A victor in two straight Ohio Sires Stakes events earlier this season with a market Sciota Downs. Number three is Over the Wire owned by Dean Davis and Jackie Bradford, trained by Kurt Sugg. He is driven by David Miller. A three-time winner on the year, finishing the money in seven of 10 career tries. Number four is Dawn's Flyby, owned by Red and Betty Shaw, trained by Marty Woolham, Don McCurgan Drive. Having banked over $21,000 in 2002 with a market Northfield Park. Number five is Flawless Strike, owned by the Second Chance Stable in B.J. Ranieri, trained by Marty Woolham. He's driven by Chip Noble. This Colt's most recent win was an impressive Ohio Sire Stakes tally at Scioto, where he took a mark of two minutes and four fifths. Number six is Golden Riddle, owned by Murray, Sherman, Walter, and Leeser, trained by Kent Sherman, the driver, Brad Miller. Number seven is an earner of over $25,000 this season. His lifetime best mark came in a blowout, two minutes and two Ohio Sire Stakes win at Scioto last month. This is Baloney Lips, owned by Fred Polk, trained by Eric Nesselrode, and driven by Jeff Fout. And rounding out the field, the richest Colt in the field with $61,400 in career earnings. The striking Sabre began his career with five straight victories. This is Final Legacy, owned by Gary Reynolds. Trained and driven by Dan Reynolds. That's the field for the third race. The $100,000 final of the Ohio Sire Stakes two-year-old Colt Trot. Post time in six minutes. Of the two-year-old Colt Trot. There, off it was a slow beginning for Golden Riddle, but a fast beginning for Over the Wire, who darts right out to take the lead, but is joined by Final Legacy on the outside. Those two enter the turn together. Gal's Lucky Nooner comes away in up close third, a gap of two lengths, and Air Touch is trotting along in fourth. Another two more to Dawn's Flyby. Flawless Strike takes a seat just in front of Baloney Lips, then it's Golden Riddle at the back of the pack as they move to the head of the stretch for the first time and Dan Reynolds has final legacy on the front end but with a first over move from the three hole here comes Gals Lucky Nooner and Walter Case on the outside the quarter in a moderate 30 seconds flat as they trot past the grandstand for the first time and Gals Lucky Nooner looks to take over the lead from final legacy who's making him work for it just a bit two and a half lengths back over the wire is third followed in fourth by Air Touch who has about six to make up at this stage Dawn's flyby is looking to grab cover and will do so now following the move of Air Touch and then we get Baloney Lips outside of Flawless Strike. And the back marker remains Golden Riddle. Nine lengths cover the field as they wheel by the half mile pole with Gals Lucky Nooner, the race leader to that station in 59 and four. Gals Lucky Nooner by a length and a quarter. And Final Legacy, very impatient, now pops the pocket on the race leader. Over the wire along the inside will try to close up the gap in third and air touch. Now racing with cover on the outside is well placed in the action fourth. Two and a half more. Dawn's flyby on the outside fifth, followed by Baloney Lips outside a flawless strike and a struggling golden riddle has just gone off stride as they head for the far turn gals lucky nooner is holding final legacy at bay he reaches the three quarter it's in 128 and four midway through the far turn gals lucky nooner turns back the challenge of final legacy now leads it by two lengths air touch is forced up three wide over the wire cannot go on followed by final legacy and dawn's flyby as they straighten away but gals lucky nooner is taking off on them now leading it by four lengths
Air Touch is coming after him in second, followed by Over the Wire and Final Legacy. But Gal's Lucky Nooner is much the best in the final of the two year old Colt Trot, winning in 158 and 3 over Air Touch and Over the Wire. Circle. The fifth consecutive victory for Gal's Lucky Nooner, who scores in a career best 158 and 3. He's a two year old son of High Noon Star from Prim's Lucky Gal by Lucky Almahurst, owned by Jack Tremonti, trained by Kelly O'Donnell, and driven a victory by Walter Case Jr., capturing the $100,000 final of tonight's Ohio Sire Stakes Championship leg of the two year old Colt Trot. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections. The Vice President of Scioto Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill, joined with Midland, by Midland Acres, Dr. John Marsparger, and our own Debbie Rucker. Rundown, Gals Lucky Nooner the winner, Air Touch second, Over the Wire was third, Dawn's Fly by fifth, Flawless Strike was sixth, Golden Riddle eighth, Baloney Lips was seventh, Final Legacy finished fourth. You top down in the third race, one, two, three, five, six, eight, seven, four. The fourth race is coming up next. It's the $100,000 Ohio Sire Stakes Championship leg for the two-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers with exact as tries and pick threes. Post time in 13 minutes at 8.36. And purchase, and obviously you saw something you liked in the program. This is a horse who seems to have great tactical speed, but apparently you told Casey go right to the top. Well, you know, I told him to, you know, I don't tell Walter much. I mean, he does it on his own, but uh, uh, he wanted to let everybody kind of settle a little bit and then, uh, you know, kind of let him roll. But uh, this Colt's got a, just a lot of natural ability, and he's just uh, got a great attitude. He's had some great miles, an unfortunate disqualification in the state fair stakes here, the only mark against him recently. Did you do anything different when he came to your barn? Uh, not a whole lot. Really didn't, do, really didn't have to do hardly anything. Uh, like I say, uh, uh, this colt was, uh, he's kind of a natural. I mean, he just uh, does everything you ask him. 158 and 3, a great mile for him. Uh, is this his bottom, or uh, can he go on from here as a two-year-old, or are you going to take it easy with him between now and the end of the year? What? Well, he's just got one more start, John. He's got the uh, Breeders' Championship at Delaware, and then he's done for the year. So, uh, I mean, he's had some tough miles, and, uh, and he's accomplished quite a bit. So uh, we'll quit with him after that and wait for next year. Half-mile track down there at Delaware should not be a problem for him. You qualified him at Northfield in fine order. Yeah, and then he won uh, the very first start after the qualifier that we had him. He won in 59-3 at Northfield. So, uh, yeah, half-mile suits him pretty well. Looking like a pretty smart man for recommending the purchase of this one to Jack Tremonti. Congratulations to you, Jack, and, of course, to Walter for a great drive tonight. Okay, thank you, John. Great winner, 158-3. One more time to see this one, and that'll be Delaware, Ohio.